hello everyone I do have the Samsung TV UN 60F6350 this TV here the customer uh, bring it in he said the TV turns on shows the logo then goes off so let me just remove this back so plug it to the power let me put everything back so the TV turns on and they stay on it's not like what the customer said he said this keep looping but I can see there is another issue here this spot here of the screen is dark yeah there is one across the screen over there it's dark by checking the power board we can see here we have some brownish spot here that spot is uh, overheat area uh, could be from a cracked solder joint or a bad LED in the screen so we're going to check the LEDs from this connector and we see if you look here we have one negative one positive two negative two positive and three the same thing positive and negative and the four negative and positive but this nc nc the top one you can see is different than the third and for the 13 and 14 nc nc is different from the 15 and 16. Plus you can see there is there is a wire over there. I don't know what that NC for this wire here. And here there is one, two, three, four, but we have just three transformers. So kinda is uh, shall figure out how this backlight works. So the positive of the, the LEDs cable is uh, in the right side here. So it's mean the black wire is the positive side. And so here the black wire, you can see them in the bottom is mean should be this is a, should be the positive one here. And this is the negative. The first pin is empty. The second second one in the top second one in the bottom it works is give like 166 and I can see some backlight from that hole so here the third ones one two three there is a wires over there but when i check here on them there is no connection so cell 300 volt when you see 300 volt it means there is no connection to the leds so one two three four is empty and the five the five spots we have 167 the leds here it works So the third wires or the one negative one positive is giving us 111 volt. So still maybe there is some burned LEDs in in this one but still works. The top two pins over there, where is the that NC over? You can see the NC over there. There is a wires on it, but it's no connection. So there is a three spots. I can have the I have the voltages. Uh, 
but they are not all the same so we're going to need to check the screen apart and check the LEDs I check all the back cover I check the plate that's covering the cheek on speakers and I, for this specific model I want you to be careful to this there is a tape you can see it around the TV so you can see the tape it's stuck at the at the flex cable over there yeah you can see there is a cough over there the cable the tape is on it this is a bad idea from Samsung but uh, just be careful when you are checking the tape So I check the screen after I remove the tape, still uh, look is okay, we have the data, we don't have no lines. So you can lift the, the coffee's board and put the tape, be sure this side coffee is free, because there is a little tape here. You, go, you may need to run like a business card around the screen to be sure there is no adhesive holding the screen to the frame when you are lifting it. I remove the screen, the films, and this is where I reach. Look here, big burn spot. So, how many? Uh, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, there is eleven LEDs. See how it's connected. Uh, this one works. This one works. This one works. This one works. So all the LED strips work except the one it's burned, the one over there. Even that one is just that side, but this side of the strip it works. You can see it works. That's the burning strip. So this side of the strip, it doesn't work. But I'm gonna order the whole uh, backlight because it's not a good idea to replace just one LED or to replace just one strip. It's better you replace all at the same time to give the life better, uh, to give the TV better life. So we have three strips, not on, but these ones are good, this is the bad one. It's here, you can see the burn spot right there. This is the backlight modding number over there, and this is the new backlights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven right, eleven left, and that's make uh, twenty-two strip. So that's what we need to replace. There is a connector. 
here wow yeah there is a connector missing here that's bad that's bad <sighs> yeah these connectors are, are broken So I fixed some uh, some bad connectors, like I did show you. The ones are bad. I moved this tape and to disconnect these ones, you're gonna need to push this one down. is hard with one hand the same thing this ones you push them down So I'm going to remove all of them and uh, we start putting the new one. The new one connector is different. So you can see this connector how it's how it is here. But this one they have this connector. This one this light white. This one long so there is a metal clip here Connect this one like this way. Be sure this clip is over the, the strip here and here. So let's turn it on. And voila. All the LEDs are on. The brightness is the same and it looks good
I'm gonna clean up these smokes here. That's the maximum we can. Doesn't need to be perfect. So we are just going to cut a piece of the paper, this shape, and we're going to put it like this. So put some glue. I put a piece of the paper, then I put the tape because the support glue doesn't, doesn't stay good with this uh, or the glossy film. And yeah, so this this. This white paper just to cover that hole cause the the light here this spot is gonna look yellow on the screen and you can see this is so try to push the lenses and the top of the of the film you can see the LED lenses is on the top of the film so not the film is like is the same level or over the the lens that time is going to give you a bright spot in the screen This one is moving here, okay? So then the screen is not over this edge. Here is a little bit far. This corner here is good. It's not. But this one here, the screen in the edge. Yeah, so you just you push the plastic, not on the screen. Here, you push it down, the screen is going to go in the place. Like that. So let me get this part in the place. Slow. 
Brightness looking good. Oh, let's finish it. Uh, finish putting it to it. I'm going to check the power board because this brownish spot and see if there is any cracked pen or bed. The TV work is fine. You can see the brightness. All look nice. We don't see that spot here, where is the the burned light. So let me go to the YouTube. Which is downloading and we check yeah TV works fine 
So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you again.